Close your eyes. Watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out, and then with the next breath, and then the next. Try to stay with that sensation. As for other things that would attract your attention, you can let them go for the time being. You want to train the mind to be with one thing, because the mind needs training. Otherwise, it just jumps around as it likes. And sometimes you wonder, is this my mind or somebody else's mind, because it's not going where you want it to go. You focus on one thing, and you find yourself suddenly thinking about something else. And that can put you in a lot of danger. If you can't trust your mind to think the things you want it to think and not think the things you don't want it to think, it's going to, do, <clears throat> it's going to lead you to doing things and saying things you don't want to do or say. So try to get some control over the mind. Train it so that you can trust it. It's like learning how to live with an animal. If the animal's going to live with you, you've got to train it. Otherwise, the animal takes over. So if it wanders off, you just bring it right back. It wanders off again, bring it back again. Try to reward it the same way you would reward an animal when it does as it's told, with a really comfortable way of breathing. And this requires that you watch the body for a while and see what kind of breathing it needs. Sometimes it needs long breathing, sometimes short, sometimes fast, slow, heavy, light, deep, shallow. Try to gain a sense of what the body needs right now. And that makes the breath a lot more interesting than just in and out, in and out. It's actually the energy flowing throughout the whole body is involved with the breath, too. And that's what you really want to focus on, that flow of energy that can go all the way down to the tips of the toes. Go through your head, go through your torso, down your arms to the tips of the fingers. Try to gain a sense of what this energy is doing, and when it's doing something that seems not quite right, okay, what you can do to change. If there's any tension in the body, think of it relaxing. See how that improves the flow of the energy. To give the mind a good place to stay. After all, if the animal's going to live with you, the animal's going to have some sense of comfort. Otherwise, it's not going to want to stay with you. It's going to go running away. This way the mind gets more and more tame. Tame not in the sense that it doesn't do large things or important things. It can but it doesn't when you want them to, when you want it to. And at the same time, it doesn't go fritting away your energy with useless thoughts or thoughts that are going to cause you trouble. So to gain a sense of what your mind really needs, you want to watch it for a while. And at the same time, you're training it to stay here so you, it can gain a sense of what you really need. You want a mind that's under your control that works for genuine well-being. Not just jumping for whatever little pleasures come its way, because sometimes the little pleasures get in, in the way of much larger happiness. And you don't want to lose out on the possibility for that happiness, so you want to have the mind under control. So take time to do this every day, every day. We can brush our teeth every day, wash our face every day. We should learn, learn to look after our mind every day as well. It's the most important thing we have.